everybody just a quick video I'm going to show you how I get these nice clean lines on my paintings using cheap spray paint and our laser first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of plywood this is a piece of universal ply you can pick up at Lowe's I had to cut down we have some 12 inch uh, adhesive tape you can pick this up on Amazon I'll put a link down below for it if you're interested so we just pull it off, line it up, smooth it out best we can by hand, cut the end off, this side, take our roller, I picked that up on Amazon. Works pretty good. Just roll it down until it's fine. Should end up with something nice and smooth. Just like that. I'm not going to do the back side, just the front side. Okay, back to the Glowforge software. You can see I already brought up the headhunter. It's right here. We're going to want to score everything inside of his face and we want to cut the outside border. So you can see over here on the side, I've already picked out bass plywood and you can use their settings for all of this, which works just fine. So you can hit the score, just hit high quality. Everything's going to be fine. You can do the cutting. If you do the cutting, let's actually pick the cutting for that. Proof grade, cutting. I would come over here and I would slow this speed down to about 135. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. But uh, since I already made settings for my particular one, let me go back and actually select them. I'm going to just use those. Okay, so we're going to score there and then we're going to cut last. I like to always cut last uh, because I'm going to focus in on this area and, and I've seen in the past where if I cut the piece first and then engrave and score, the piece after it gets cut will drop because the board's slightly warped or you know things like that. So it's always best just to cut it last. So now we're going to set our focus. Since we are dealing with a thicker board, we need to get what the focus is of this. Then we hit print, and we wait, and 21 minutes, 52 seconds. Boy, that's the longest one yet. So now we go over our machine and push the button. Okay, so now he's all cut out. Can you see him? We're gonna go through and we're gonna remove the masking that we want to have painted, which is like all these different lines. By the way, I'm using this little tiny like dental pick. I don't know if you can see the tip on that. Just a little tiny piece. You can also use duct tape, but I like this the best. Just go in there and hook it. And just start peeling it out. Okay, so we got all the areas unmasked that we want to paint. We're going to paint them black. Now the problem is the wood fibers, even though you have a good seal on here on the, the tape, paint is going to soak into the wood fibers and go underneath and it's going to give you this kind of like a fuzzy looking little line in there. Uh, there's a couple things you can do. One is don't use a gloss paint. Gloss seems to soak in there for some odd reason, don't know why. The other is use a flat paint just like you know black primer or something like that 
I'm going to be using Krylon chalkboard black paint. Seems to work pretty good. But before I do that, I'm going to coat it with, just give it a light coating of this Minwax sanding sealer. So I'm just using a cheap little chip brush that I picked up at Harbor Freight. Nothing fancy. Now I shook this, I probably said I shook it. Left a lot of bubbles. We'll try it anyways. So I'm just gonna... Everything's all painted up. Now we're going to go through and we're going to remove all the masking for to expose the wood of the mask. And I'm going to use my little dental tool again. And so there you go. Nice and clean. If you can see that, it's not too bad. Could have been better. Now the sanding sealer is something that you could use. You don't have to use it. If you use a flat black paint or any type of flat paint, like a primer, that works really good too. Well, anyways, there you go. If you like this one, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Talk to you later.